What's going on guys? Kirk here from Motor Gear TV. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. And you all clicked on this video for one reason only. So I'm not gonna waste any more time introducing to you all a 2021 BMW G82 M4. Got a lot to cover, stay tuned. Let's get started. All right, so I know a lot of you are probably going to be wondering how did I come about even getting a G82 M4? I know this is not something that I really spoke about or mentioned on the channel ever at any point in time. For those of you who are new to the channel, before this I had a 2017 OG BMW M2. It was a fantastic car, I had a lot of fun with it, taking it from stock to fully modified. We did almost everything you could think of to that car. And for me, it just got to a point where I did everything I wanted to do with it and I didn't really see the benefit of going going further with the build. With that being said, even though I did love the car, I got to a point where I just wanted to try something new and that's how this car came about. Now I know for a lot of people getting a G82 M4 might come as a shock, especially being a replacement for the M2, not only because of the looks but the size and overall it's just a completely different animal. Now there were a number of reasons why I decided to go with this car. Shockingly enough, a lot of people may not even realize this but this is a car we've actually featured quite a lot on the channel. I've been very curious and very intrigued with how BMW decided to go with the styling and everything. From the first time we did a M4 competition to doing multiple car owner features, shout out to Vijay, Rick and Merrick, big influence in the BMW car community and also a very big reason why I decided to go with this platform in general. Starting with the exterior of the car, now this color specifically is called Tanzanite Metallic 2. A very gorgeous car, very grown, very mature, not too bright, not too dark, I think it's right in the middle and it fits the overall look of the M4 the best to me in my opinion. Fitted on the outside it has the A26 black toe M wheels from the front, Icon laser headlights which I think is a must have for any GATX car. Obviously I went with the M4 so there are a number of reasons why I did. Now the first reason is really the overall looks of the car. Even though the G80 is a beautiful car in general I do prefer the look of the coupe. I think it's very sporty and having a four door right now it's not really necessary. I do have another vehicle which I am going to be talking about later on. But overall, I think one of the main factors in getting the G82 is because when you go out in public, especially to BMW meets and car shows, you're normally used to seeing the G80 M3. And this is not a bad thing. It's not to say that I wouldn't get a G80 M3, but I just think that the G82 M4 stands out just a little bit more. Now, just some quick specs on the car. It's a 2021 G82 M4. This is the non-comp version, and I'll get into why I chose a non-comp in a second. Rear wheel drive, it was a one owner car and has very low miles the previous owner had a really good maintenance upkeep everything was done and serviced through the dealer and for me personally that was kind of one of my must-haves i wanted something that was free of accidents minimal owners low miles and well kept and i think this one really ticks all the boxes carry you guys over to the top of the car it does have the beautiful carbon fiber roof which was a must have for me this is the first time i've ever had a car with a carbon fiber roof and i can really appreciate the unique touch it gives to the car and finishing off the main feature i wanted to have in this car as you guys can see proper gearbox six speed manual three pedals the only way i could possibly do this car if i didn't go to x drive for those of you who haven't driven a manual g80 or a manual f80 trust me manuals are the way to go very engaging still allows you to feel connected to the car but also having all the new technology as well on the inside as you guys can see i do not have buckets but these are the comfort sports seats in full merino leather with the alcantara on the side very nice touch i don't really mind not having buckets you guys know 
if it comes down to it i have no problem with swapping something like this out and to finish up I'll show you guys what the engine looks like the main consideration for getting this car the potent the reliable s58 motor now i will be honest before getting this car i was interested in getting either a f80 or f82 to a lot of people that would have seemed like the natural progression but the cost of a well-maintained low mileage f82 or f80 is in the mid to high 50s now considering a lot of things that are going on in the economy i do want to get the best for my dollar so getting this car a lot of people may not realize but these cars have come down in value a whole lot especially from retail and it's a pretty good deal to get into one now especially on the g82 m4s the g80 m3s are a little bit more pricey but the price that i got this one for it was basically a no-brainer it was pretty much a little bit more than me getting a good example of a f80 and there you guys have it now this was just a quick general overview of the car i am going to be doing a lot more content and giving you guys the rundown of how we're going to build this car out i do want to make it unique to not only myself but also something that we can help to build the channel i know you guys are excited to see a lot we have in store trust me it's going to be something different now in wrapping this video up i did want to talk a little bit about manifestation now this car is i want to say a dream come true for me personally i didn't always want this car and not for the reasons that you might think this car when it came out i was always intrigued about it it always seemed to me you know because of the cost and other different factors that it was something that wasn't really in the books as of that point in time for those of you who are new to the channel and don't really know the backstory i came back to the states from jamaica in 2019 and at that point in time i didn't really know exactly where my life would go so i decided to take a leap of faith and start over and do something new getting my first BMW uh, 2011 335i and that's what kind of started off this whole YouTube journey and since then moving from the 335i to the OG M2 my love and appreciation for BMWs in general has grown over the past few years and standing right now in front of my G82 M4 it really goes to show you that making the right decisions you know having a goal making a plan, organizing yourself, and going after the things that you want really can manifest into anything that you want. And I know that this is just a car, but to me, it's a sense of hard work. It's a sense of achievement and a reminder that anything is possible. And I do want to say a big shout out to everyone who watches the content, who has been supporting the videos, supporting up me and Mark's journey over the past few years. Really appreciate it. This one is not only for me, but this one is for all of y'all big shout outs to all of my jamaican supporters trust me guys we've got a lot in store for this car and i'm happy that you guys are going to be watching the journey we're going to take this to the next level and show you exactly what we can do with motor gear now from here on all i'm asking for you guys is to like share and subscribe tune in to more geared up content make sure you support motor gear garage we've got a lot more products to feature more g82 content and everything else in between that's gonna do it for today's episode guys stay tuned for the next one and until then we're gone